some really smart friends at Harvard Business School instruct us that accountability when greater than control equals entrepreneurship. And I think control plays into this whole issue of innovation in some intriguing and maybe some counterintuitive ways. Well, I've spent some time in some, some very rural, uh, underdeveloped communities. And there's powerful relationships. There's not a lot of stuff. There's deep meaning and experience. And this technological revolution, in a way, and these social networks are striving for that, sometimes superficially, other times less so. And what we find makes, creates the most innovative environments is, is the combination of experts and, and generalists. And I think as an industry, we totally, or still totally undervalue uh, the data. If you actually create the right database at the start of a project during design, that that can then form the basis of collecting data and optimizing a building through, through, through its whole life. So it's that one foot in tradition and one foot in innovation that seems to be the, the sweet spot, that the ability to give people relevance of what they know and something, something extra. If people don't understand the innovation, they feel inferior and they push away. Frankly, uh, as a design professional, we want to provoke people. We want to unsettle them from their patterns. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to be um, even aggressive about that. Uh, I'm frustrated that there's technology that's readily available that uh, various communities and constituencies aren't embracing. I think there's an absolute uh, appropriate place in the marketplace for commoditization. That we find ourselves working more and more with uh, the manufacturers of the products. And adversarialism costs us, as a supplier, huge sums of money because, you know, we have to bid the number higher to protect ourselves. And if we really had trust and a more honest relationship with everyone at the table, we would be more forthcoming in how we could save everyone money. This is, I think you can find innovation uh, with all clients. you just got to find what their true desires are. But we go through this process of actually looking at what's their hero's journey, how do we attract, engage, get them to adopt and start to evangelize even our, our value proposition or our design proposal. I think bottom up, it's all about creating a culture and a fertile ground where very um, amazing and unexpected things can happen. Let's, let's reach out there to the community and start branding ourselves as a community that does bring value to, to North America and brings value to the rest of the world. Uh, I think we are actually achieving huge amounts here in the, in the US uh, and that's why I'm personally here and not in China or India or somewhere else. I decided to come here because I saw something and I believe it's here and I think the crisis has truly created a great opportunity.